Well, hello, welcome to Mr. Paul's Pantry. I'm Mr. Paul, and if you're a returning visitor, first of all, I have to apologise for my absence here in the past few weeks, because during this Christmas uh, break, I fell and had a nasty accident in my kitchen, injuring my neck and my head, and my eye, my ear, uh, and uh, I'm still recovering. So this is the first video I've made since uh, before Christmas. If you're new here, uh, and you're not sure what to expect, well, I am not a celebrity chef, for starters. Okay, welcome to all your new visitors. Uh, I am an ordinary, plain and simple, high street baker who had shops in England and in Spain for the past 60 years. And my whole aim in life is to show you simple recipes, everyday recipes, that anyone can make. And this one couldn't be any simpler. I've had requests for it for a long, long time. It's so simple, I just ignored it. It's something I've made ever since day one when I started baking all those years ago. And it's, uh, it's something that in the UK, at least, used to be a must at children's uh, birthday parties and Christmas parties. It's called the Humble Butterfly Bun. And this is what it looks like. Here we are. The humble butterfly bun. You see that? It's a beautiful moist cake. It's not a cupcake, by the way. I don't make cupcakes. Cupcakes are a new thing, a new fangled thing. I don't do them. I do old-fashioned traditional baking. Things that people used to buy every single day or every single week in the shop. I never made things and expected people to buy them or persuade them to buy them. All I did was make things that people wanted. And this is one of the very, very best sellers we ever had. It's so simple to make, everybody who worked for me in the shops and the bakery could make them. That wasn't always the case. I had certain people who made the pork pies and certain people who made the sausage rolls, but anybody who worked, who was free at the time when we needed some fairy cakes making or, or butterfly buns, we called them, then anybody could make them. So that means you can make them as well. Okay, so here are the ingredients. So the ingredients for the butterfly buns. Now, don't forget on my website, when you go there, if you want to make more of these or less of them, you can adjust the recipe to as many servings as you want. When you click on the serving number you want, it will automatically change the ingredient quantities so you don't have to work anything out. So in if you want to make twice as many as I'm going to make, you click on the serving of um, whatever you want and it will double the size of the eggs the, and, and everything. So here are the ingredients. This is self-raising flour. I'm using self-raising flour simply because I have some. If you haven't any, you will need to add a little more baking powder. So this is self-raising flour. This, today, I get so many people asking, when I say use butter, do I have to use butter? Can I use margarine? Well, in this recipe, in this instance, the answer is a very definitely yes. And yes, you can use the soft tub margarine, which is, as you can see, it's very, very soft at room temperature and very easy to cream. So I'm using soft margarine for this. I'm using two large eggs. And in, in the UK and in Europe, large is large. I think in the US, I think you call them extra large. Okay, but these are large eggs. Here, I've got some baking powder. I've got a teaspoonful. And that's going in as well as the self-raising flour. That's to give them an extra lift. And I've got some sugar. You can use granulated sugar or caster sugar. It doesn't matter. Uh, caster sugar dissolves a little easier. And sometimes if it's very coarse, the sugar that I have, I pop it in the, in the, in the grinder and, and just grind it down a little bit. But those are the ingredients. There's nothing else. It's flour, butter, sugar, egg and baking powder. So let's get on with it. Into the bowl we're going to put the sugar and the margarine. You can use butter if you want as I said but this will give you an excellent result 
and we're going to cream those together until they're nice and fluffy. So into the bowl we're going to put the sugar and the margarine. You can use butter if you want as I said but this will give you an excellent result and we're going to cream those together until they're nice and fluffy. Now we're going to add the egg and that needs to go one at a time. First one, oops, give it a good mix. And then the second one. And now for the dry ingredients. I'm going to add the self-raising flour and the baking powder. Don't forget if you haven't got self-raising flour you will need to add some extra baking powder. That will be underneath the recipe. Uh, the recipe will be underneath the video um, uh, when it is finished. You can look at that and you can also look at the recipe on my website as well. So there we are, we don't need to mix over mix that because we don't want them making them tough. So that's now ready for going into the baking cases. So into the cases we're going to go, I'm going to use, I'm going to use an ice cream scoop, which we always did in the bakery. This ensures you get the same amount into each case. So there's no arguing who gets a bigger butterfly bun than somebody else, especially at a children's party. We don't want any fights. So there we are. This will make 12 of those. These are going to go in the oven now at 180 degrees centigrade uh, and that's no fan. If you want to use a fan you might have to cut it down to 160. Uh, you'll have to check with your oven because at fan uh, ovens always run a little hotter than the setting. I'm going in the oven at 180 degrees, no fan, and they should be in there for about 15-20 well, minutes. So the first thing we need to do is take a sharp knife and we need to make an insert here and put the knife at an angle. Can you see like that? Put the knife at an angle and cut round and round and lift out that piece in the middle. So we finished it with a hollow there and a little bit there with the point on. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not, can you? There we are, like that. So we need to go around and do that with all of them. Now once you've done that, it's a very, very simple thing to do, is you take one of the buns, take the piece out that you've cut like that, 
Turn it over onto a flat surface and cut it in half, like that. Okay, just like that. Now, if you want to use some jam in this hollow, you can do so. If you don't, doesn't matter. I sometimes do, I sometimes don't bother. But what I do like to do, I like to pipe it usually, but I know a lot of people don't like piping things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it with a knife, like that, and take the two little bits that you've cut and just pop them one there, and one there, and that's why we call them butterfly buns, because they do look very much like a little butterfly sat on top of the cake. It's as simple as that. Exactly as simple as that. I'll do another one. Just take the piece out that you've cut out the middle, turn it over onto a flat surface, cut it in two, and then either pipe some jam there or just put cream in, it doesn't make any difference jam and cream and then take your two little butterfly wings and stick them like that here we go well that's all we have time for today it's been a struggle doing this video and i'm sorry it's a short one but uh, i've managed it hope you enjoy it if you have enjoyed the video, go underneath, give it a, li a like, a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, do subscribe because YouTube will let you know every time I put up a new video. So this is Mr. Paul saying bye for now and I'll see you next time. Bye.